Dear students, let us discuss about respiration today. It's an amazing process which provides energy to the cells of our body by breaking the digested and absorbed nutrients with the help of oxygen. The process by which oxygen combines with nutrients, break them to release energy is called respiration. Our lungs are so amazing. They are the only human organs that can float in water. Our lungs fuel us with oxygen, the body's life-sustaining gas. They extract the oxygen from air and pass it to the tissues and organs. Oxygen drives the process of respiration which provides energy to the cells. Since the lungs process air, they are the only internal organs that are constantly exposed to the external environment. They breathe in 8000 to 9000 liters of air per day. Do you know the relation between our lungs and the tennis court? There are 600 millions of alveoli in our lungs. If the alveolar surface were spread out, it would cover the area of a tennis court. Our lungs have such a large surface area in order to supply oxygen to our body at the speed of 160 liters per hour. They remove 70% of toxins from our body while breathing. Human lungs can hold 4 to 6 liters of air. But the lungs of blue whale can hold more than 4200 liters of air. Have you ever wondered the role of hemoglobin in our body? The respiratory pigment in human beings is hemoglobin, which has a very high affinity for oxygen and acts as oxygen carrier. It is estimated that it would take 3 years for one molecule of oxygen to reach the toes from lungs by means of diffusion. But it takes less than a minute for one molecule of oxygen to reach the toes from lungs with the help of hemoglobin. It is really an amazing transporter. Carbon dioxide is more soluble in water than oxygen. Hence, Carbon dioxide is mostly transported in dissolved form by plasma. Respiration involves two major types, aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration takes place in higher plants and higher animals. Anaerobic respiration takes place in yeast is called alcoholic fermentation. Anaerobic respiration which takes place in human muscle cells is called lactic acid fermentation. Now let us discuss the difference between aerobic and anaerobic respirations. Aerobic respiration occurs in the presence of oxygen. Anaerobic respiration occurs in the absence of oxygen. In aerobic respiration, glucose is completely oxidized. In anaerobic respiration, glucose is incompletely oxidized. In aerobic respiration, the end products are carbon dioxide, water and energy. In anaerobic respiration, the end products are ethanol or lactic acid carbon dioxide and energy. In aerobic respiration, huge amount of energy is produced that is 38 ATP molecules. In anaerobic respiration, less amount of energy is produced that is 2 ATP molecules. Aerobic respiration takes place in cytoplasm and mitochondria. Anaerobic respiration takes place only in cytoplasm. Organisms and their breathing organs Plants use stomata as their breathing organs. Insects use trachea as their breathing organs. 
Fishes use gills as their breathing organs. Frogs use skin and lungs as their breathing organs. Reptiles, birds and mammals use lungs as their breathing organs. Terrestrial animals use oxygen present in the atmosphere. Aquatic animals use the oxygen dissolved in water. The rate of breathing in aquatic organisms is much faster than that of terrestrial organisms. Since the amount of dissolved oxygen is fairly low compared to the amount of oxygen present in the air. Fishes take in water through their mouths and pass it to the gills where the dissolved oxygen is taken up by the blood. Salient features of respiratory organs The respiratory organs have a structure which provides large surface area for exchange of gases. The surface of respiratory organs is very thin and delicate to facilitate easy diffusion of gases. In order to protect, these organs are placed within the body. Respiration in plants The direction of diffusion depends upon the environmental conditions and the requirement of the plant. At night, carbon dioxide elimination is a major exchange process as there is no photosynthesis. During the day, carbon dioxide released during respiration is used for photosynthesis. Hence, there is no release of carbon dioxide. Instead, oxygen release is a major event. I hope you had a joyful learning and enjoyed watching this video. Thank you. God bless you.